Nahala, thanks for talking to us. Tell me, why are you here? We are here today in order to learn on how businesses operate, how the women that are successful here made it in order to be here today, and on how we as young people can become young entrepreneurs and bring up the economy of the world. But you won a prize, didn't you? You and all of your, your mates here won a prize to come to this conference. Tell me what you did in order to win the prize. Well, DTI gave us an opportunity to present a business idea whereby we came up with a multifunctional pen which has got seven, seven features. A pen, a pencil, stencils, flexible roller, a digital clock, a rubber, and a string belt which senses when the pen is about to fall. And it gave us an opportunity to do that. We brainstormed as young people without the help of the teachers, but they were just assisting us. We came up with this idea, presented it to the DTI, and won the prize. Okay, and the prize is to come to Paris. Is it also that you get somebody like from the manufacturing sector to look at actually producing the pen? Not yet, but as young people, we would like to start now to produce that pen. So we're going to ask some, in, we're going to invest this product to one of uh, the, 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 pen, the pen producers, like Big, we've got Big in South Africa. We're going to present this same presentation to them that we've got this idea, we would like to go big and increase the percentage of women. Now, you're in your last year at high school. What is it that you want to do at university? In university, I want to do medicine. In Cuba, I want to be a medical doctor, but as well as a business young entrepreneur because we came up with this idea, we'd like to take it further. And in terms of support from your teachers and fellow students, you're in a school with both boys and girls. I mean, was it <coughs> difficult to get other girls interested in what you were doing? Well, it wasn't that difficult. We've got, uh, we have, um, recruited so many girls so far because many people are changing it increases it, it decreases the rate of teenage pregnancy in schools and so many people are becoming creative and innovative when it comes to technology and the economy of South Africa and they are not taking us girls granted but they can see that we've got power to do anything as young girls. And what, what about your mother and, and do you have sisters at home? What, what do they think about all this? They're so proud of me and they're like wow we never thought that you could grow this big. Thanks to DTI for bringing up this, for digging down this talent that you have. We never thought you have got a bright future. We never thought that you could think of something like this. They're so proud of me and my younger sister has, is, is now doing grade 10 in school, in high school, and she has gone for for, for, for businesses and she, she's always telling me, sister, I want to be a businesswoman when I grow up so that the economy of women in South Africa, the percentage can increase from 18, 18, I'm not sure, but I think it's 18.8% to 100% because as women, we can take this world up and we can rule this world as women. Now, Hala, the very best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you too.